we are recording. Okay. Hello. In this video, I'm going to share how to set interrupt subroutines in SM D20. I am new to ARM microcontrollers and my first time is happened to be with the Atmel ARM controllers, microcontrollers. So if you have been working with AVR families, AVR microcontrollers, you might, you will probably uh, look for subroutines and timer vectors, compare and match settings, all that things. That simple thing, you set your timer and call some simple function in it. And I will show you how to achieve this. I'm no expert on this. I, um, I actually don't have any detailed explanations on what I'm doing either, but I will show you what you would expect from interrupt subroutine of timer interrupt as you, as you would wish in AVRs, okay? So let's open our Microchip Studio. It's not Atman Studio anymore, it's Microchip Studio. And I'm using this board I can share with you at some D20 as you can see here as well. Okay, let's start with, okay. First thing first, there used to be, it used to be recommended to use uh, that ASF wizard since Atmos start has been developed, they, uh, Atmos company basically recommends to use Atmos start. They're integrated inside kind of like that. At my start project, okay. And here we will do the settings. Create a new project. Okay, it's kind of put your your board's name or your microcontroller's name. Send D. I have a built-in board. And here, what I want to do is from this, here you can name, I'm not going to turn this into at my start tutorial, but I can rename this project like, ISR and E20, let's say this. And we will also add timer here with, yeah, that's the timer. It's gonna be timer zero. I will leave it like that. And I will also use the built-in LED on the board, which is around here, it must be, where is that? Yeah, that's it. And I set this to output and let's call it board. Okay. I think that's it, timer, that's, yeah, there are some settings here, but I'm going to leave them here just for now to see the logic behind it. These settings, if you're familiar with microcontrollers, you will always figure it out by yourself, or you can just simply check the data sheet. All the dependencies are here. I will remove myself from here. Okay, this is my main 
here I will get some already written codes to library number. Since I only added software uh, components as timers, I have this example codes for only timers. Now there's two timers explained, I mean, defined here. I'm not going to use the second ones. I mean, not timers, task. I will use only one task. So I will just delete these and these and that. Yeah, that's nice and clear. Let's build it first. We will have an error because yeah, we have an error because this is um, defined somewhere else where we get it. So I will comment this out now. We will not have any error. Yeah, succeeded. Now, the point here is that, let's make it clear. The, this is the initialization settings, in its settings of the, timer you set it, you set the interval to 100 this is your callback function what callback function is your interrupt subroutine that's basically it you you call it callback function here and whatever you assign it to that will be called this is automatically generated as example, as you can see, you can rename them as, as long as you keep them convenient. And timer task repeat, it's for the modes of repeating or one shot thing. You can also check this from the data sheets. Okay, now these are all sad actually. What I will do here is that to just toggle my LED, on the board here and I will show you my can I show I can sh just show you here like that GPIO toggle and what was the name I assigned it to LED on boards I'm getting a recommendation here and the last thing I'm supposed to do is to call this init function here looks like we're all good this is my interrupt subroutine, okay? So, and let's play it. Yeah, as you can see, it's blinking very fast. I will set it to 800 and rerun it. All right, yeah, and you can you can set the clicks. I mean the ticks from the admin start part, press scalers, and the other overflow counterpoints. I don't know about that details, but this is how you do it simply, like bloody timer interrupt subroutine. I haven't found any video on the internet. That's why I want to share. I know it's not the best one, but I hope it helps for you.